Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to use the loft tool in Onshape. So the loft tool is used when you want to create a 3D model where uh, one end of that shape, like the maybe the bottom, uh, gradually changes from one profile to another on the top. So for example, the bottom of the shape could be rectangular or square, and the top of the shape could be uh, circular. And so the shape gradually changes from bottom to top. And it can be created out of uh, two or more sketches on offset planes. And that shape can have differing uh, cross sections from one end to the other. Uh, a loft is also known as a blend. And to create a loft, we use the loft tool, which is uh, right up here on the toolbar in Onshape. So what we're going to do uh, is create uh, the bottom of the shape first, the profile for the bottom of the shape which in this example, I'm going to make it actually look like the uh, little picture on the loft tool icon. Uh, so it's going to be a rectangle or a square at the bottom. So I'll click on sketch and I'll click on the top plane and I'll use the center point rectangle tool just to draw that out from the origin there. And uh, I'll make it uh, into a square. So I'll make it uh, say 50, so type in 50, hit return type in 50 again, hit return. So it's it's a square now. All right. And I'll click on the green tick to uh, finish off that sketch. Now, what I might actually do is because this top plane is actually going to be um, the bottom of the shape. So you can rename your default plane. So I'm going to rename that to bottom. And what I'm going to do is click on the bottom plane, which I drew that sketch on, right click, and then I'll click on offset plane. What this will do is create another plane that is offset from the bottom plane. So it could be below or it could be above depending on where I drag it to or depending on um, which distance I specify here uh, in the offset distance. So I could click on that little icon to swap the direction, but I might make it uh, say 60 millimeters and hit return. And then I'll click, uh, click on the green tick to confirm that. And I'll rename that one as well, but I'll call this one uh, top. Oh, actually, I don't think I can rename it to top. So let's call it top of shape. I think top is a, a taken name. All right, so I've got the bottom plane and we've got the top of the shape plane. So on top of shape, on this plane, I'm gonna draw a different shape. This time it's gonna be a circle. So I'll select that plane, click on sketch, and I'll use the center point circle and I'll just move my mouse here down to uh, the origin and move it back up top here. And we can see a little square here on the top of shape plane and that's kind of snapping on to where the origin would be directly beneath it on the bottom plane. So this means it will draw out from the center there. I'll draw a circle. Uh, I'll make this 45 diameter and click the green tick. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take this uh, this uh, square and make a shape that gradually turns into a circular top shape. So click on the loft tool. I'll select, uh, and when I click on the loft tool, uh, we choose solid and new, and we uh, start selecting profiles that we wanna use. Um, so I can start from top to bottom or bottom to top. Um, I'll start from the bottom, click that one, and then I'll click uh, the circle as well. All right, and uh, there we go. I think I might have accidentally, uh, I'll get rid of the vertex of shapes. So I only want two profiles here. I, I don't know where that third one came from, but I want face of sketch one, which is the uh, square, and face of sketch two, which is the circle. There's a few options here that I can change. So on start profile condition, I can change that to normal to profile or tangent to profile or just back to none. And I can do that for the end profile condition, condition as well. Um, there's a few things that you can change there. You can also set a path. So before I click on the green tick to confirm this loft, I'll actually cancel the loft. And this time um, we'll look at using a path. So we can draw a path from uh, the bottom profile to the top profile and make the loft follow that path. All right, so I'll create a new sketch. This time I'll do it from the front 
pane. So I can draw a, a uh, and I'll just go to front view, click on the front pane, and I'm going to ma make a path that goes from the center of the square up to the center of the circle. All right, I'll use the arc tool for this. Now I'll click there. I'll click up here in the center and I can just draw out. I'll just make it a very uh, small arc there and click the green tick to confirm that. All right, this time when I click on a loft, uh, I haven't selected any profiles this time um, like I did before. So click on loft, I'll choose the square, then I'll click on the circle and it does the same thing that it did before. It creates a loft, but this time I'm going to choose path and then I'm going to select that path that I created. And now we can see that it, it um, performs a loft, but it follows that path. So it's uh, kind of uh, bent like that. And that's it. All right. One more example we'll look at is because we've looked at how to uh, create a loft using two sketches on two uh, planes, one offset from the other. Um, but we can use two or more sketches. So I'll undo that. Command Z and I um, might just delete the um, arc as well. All right, and what I'll do is I'll offset this bottom plane. So I'll create another offset of that again. I'll right click on it, offset plane. Uh, this one, I'll just edit the name and call it middle. And um, I'll just have it somewhere in between these, the bottom and the top plane there. So I'll click on green. And now we've got three planes they're stacked on top of each other. All right, on the middle plane, I'm going to create a sketch. So I'll click on sketch, select the middle plane. Um, this time I'll use, uh, we'll go with the, go with the rectangle tool again. Um, and I'm gonna make sure it's snapped to that little box there in the center, which is gonna be the origin. And this time, instead of creating a square, it's gonna be more of a, a rectangle like that. All right, I could use a circle or arc tool, I could use the polygon tool, or I could use the line tool to create another type of shape, but just use the rectangle tool. And again, we'll go back to loft, and uh, we're gonna create a solid. We'll start selecting the profile, so the bottom one, the middle one, and the top one. And um, Again, I could do this with a path as well, just like I did before, um, but I won't this time. I'll just leave it like that. There we go. So we've got a shape that gradually changes from a square to a rectangle to a circle on the top. All right, and that's how to use the loft tool. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.